Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999. And today we are on the green server. On the level 60 Necromancer, whatever you call a 60 Necromancer, I forget. Defiler or something like that, I can't remember. It is what it is. I don't look at that very often. Hero Fant, Defiler, something. Doesn't matter, does it? I'm a Necro. There's my pet, we're in Lower Guck. Lower Guck, we're gonna farm... Okay, we've done Assassin Supplier before. We've done Arch Magus before. We've probably done other things as well, but I'm going to do a specific little area. Um, I think they call it the Dead Tower, but it's not going to be Assassin Supplier. It's not going to be Ritualist. Um, it's it's going to be mostly Sage, because I'm, I'm looking for equipment for my Enchanter, and if I can, get some stuff for Trey's Ranger as well. So I'm mostly focusing on the Sage, but I'm also going to kill the Cavalier, the Executioner, and if I can, I'm going to make it to the Savant. So this is post-commentary. I already know what happens. Um, I do end up hitting all four of those spots. The Savant's a kind of a stretch the way I'm doing it. I'm playing a little bit slowly and carefully here, even though I probably don't need to. Um, so, you know, the Savant is kind of the last on my list. If I make it to it, I make it to it. It only drops an enameled black chest plate and like a enameled mace or something it's nothing too special just be, basically be like either give it to a level one or um sell it to a vendor or whatever you know maybe take it to the tunnel and try to get 50 plat for it or something but it's almost a nuisance <laughs> at that point um but yeah basically the sage the braided cinch cord i think is what it's called the the belt item and the ruined cow is what I'm looking for for my enchanter. The other specific item I'm looking for is the executioner's hood for ranger for you know to, for trade to wear on his for his headpiece. Gives strength. You know it's a decent hood for for rangers and warriors and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, so lower guck. Uh, right now we're in the safe hallway. I am resting the dead. Do I really need to do this? I don't know. Like I said, I'm playing it safe and slow, so we we might skip by a couple things. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm resting the dead here so I can get a single pool. We just started. I'm not looking to get into a bunch of trouble with an Erd Ghoul Wizard, uh, blasting me. Uh, so I'm grabbing all of these, resting them, and then I'll pull singles. And I mostly just let my pet take care of it. So if you're a 60 Necro, man, you could probably do way faster, way better than this. I just like, this is the way I like to do it. I like to use my pet. Oh, by the way, very early in this video, I got to say, it's probably in the title. You're going to see a Spectre pet with an Executioner's Axe with Augment Death and proccing the Executioner's Axe. So I think that's the most interesting uh, part of this. Not really, you know what I mean. But like if, for a video title, for to draw people in, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. Sucks uh, having to do those kinds of things. But it does happen. And it's pretty cool. I thought it was interesting. I gave my pet an Executioner's Axe. And then he was procking it <laughs> while he had un uh, Augment Death on. So he was like, bang, 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 bang. Just crushing. So it was, it was really cool. I thought it was I thought it was fun. And uh, you guys will see that a little bit later. It's not right here in the beginning because we got to clear everything out. We got to get going on our camp. We got to get our timers down, like order of operation here. You know, kill the PH and then have the Executioner spawn with the axe. So it might take a little while. This might be a longer video, so you might want to settle in. Um, I will talk about the channel in general towards the end. I feel like that kind of stuff uh, turns people away. So for the people that hang around, I'll talk about that. But if you don't want to hear all that crap, I'll save it for the end if I remember. But yeah, I'm basically trying to get... I don't know why I keep saying basically. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get equipment for my Enchanter finally. I did have a comment, and I'm going to try to do this the nicest way possible, even though my name is Cynical, and, you know, eventually people realize that, and they understand after seven years I'm not going to change the way that I do things. I'm Cynical. Cynical. So, um, I had a comment about, like, they were talking, they were on one of my Shaman videos, like level 10 or something, and they were like, how come people always show these starting zones, and they show them with alts with, like, super, like, decked out uh you know what i'm saying i don't want to say the word because i feel like it's frowned upon on youtube which is stupid because we're not saying it in the derogatory manner we're saying it in well kind of i guess but my shaman was not decked out i don't know what the person was talking about my necro started from scratch right here this this 
60 Necro right here. Started from scratch and got all of his equipment on his own and had, like, nothing. There was no other character to give him stuff. Nobody gifted him anything. I wasn't, like, a popular YouTuber or anything when I started this Necro. So, this Necro had no equipment. Start, like, and soloed all the way to 60. And got all of his stuff, self-found, all of his stuff on his own. So that, I don't know what this person is talking about. They're, like, talking to the wrong guy. Then you guys see my Enchanter. I haven't given him anything up until, like, level 25. So now I'm doing it after so long. I mean, I have a 60 Necro. Why would I not do that? You're kind of not smart if you don't do that eventually. Use your higher level character to get your lower lower level characters like gear. That's the whole point. Of course, if you're going to do a challenge run, I totally love it. I love it. Just like the unicorn thing. I like the unicorn. I like the danger of it. I was just trying to help other people like always. But yeah. I, I, I like that idea of just self-found gear, and I do that all the time. I just don't understand why they had to post it on my video when I do it all the time. Like, none of my starting A series characters had any gear. My enchanter didn't have any gear until, like, level 25-ish. And if he did, it was very basic, like, just to have a one stat in a slot. It wasn't anything crazy. Now, the shaman did have the Ixar uh, ceremonial breast chest plate. Or whatever it's called. But I don't think it was, like, super early. I can't remember exactly. But I don't think it was super early. I think it was into his 20s, 30s. Her her 20s, 30s. But yeah, my Necro 100% did not have anything. And my Enchanter, at least until right around now, hasn't barely had anything. Except for Oowomp stuff. Like, if you consider Oowomp stuff crazy good, then I don't know what to tell you. Um... Same with my shaman, though. I feel like I didn't... Like, the only thing I ever gave my shaman was the the, the, the chest plate for regen. Because I thought it was cool to, like, have Ixar regen plus, you know, with uh, cannibalize and everything. I thought that was neat. So, But he never had, like, anything crazy. She never had anything crazy either. So I don't know what this person's talking about. It's it's YouTube comments. People just assume things and just don't, are reckless with their comments. I don't understand. Go tell that to somebody else. There's plenty of other channels that just crazy deck out alts and then act like they're awesome that's not this one once again resting grabbing them one at a time playing it slow and careful what spells am i i'm casting you know rest of the dead um i have lich on my strongest lich so it really drains my health quickly so i gotta do vexing mordania you know i have a life tap up in case one of these situations happen where i get rooted and i'm getting hit and stuff and there's nothing that i can do about it so i'll life tap to keep keep myself in the fight and not just go down um because i'm getting liched and hit at the same time and i'm brooded so i can't move so they're gonna hit me so I, I keep a life tap on just as a direct damage plus a quick healing option dooming darkness so they don't run that wasn't that big of a deal if you want to leave off dooming darkness i understand because they weren't getting very far they're not like they're level 40 probably and my pet is probably higher level than them, and I'm level 60, and it's not like they're going to get very far if they're running. But just to play it super safe, I have Dooming Darkness on there. So Root, Vexing Mordania, Augment Death, Life Tap, Dooming Darkness, Rest of the Dead, of course Feign Death. I mean, keep that on. I should probably have Feign Death in my first slot, but I just keep Root, because I'd rather, I don't know. I feel like if I'm going to, I always feel like I'm not going to have to cast Feign Death. I'd rather Root something and get out of the fight than... You know, stay in the fight than to feign death and get out of the fight. But maybe you want feign death on the first slot so you can cast it faster. I do have a global cooldown, though. I have the, the journeyman boots. I don't use them. And I, I gotta, when I was playing my Necro every single day and, and leveling from 0 to 60, I was hitting those boots between every spell. But these days, I just, I don't even, I'm out of practice a bit here. So, not really hitting my global cooldown in between. I don't know if I can. I think you can still, even though, even if you can't, like, cast it and get the benefits of the buff. I think you can still use it as a global cooldown, even indoors. But I can't remember. So. But yeah, clearing this out. Um, changing my spells up. Let's let's go ahead a little bit. I got two videos for you. I'm going to show you this one. This one's an hour and a half. And then the second portion has the Executioner Axe uh, Spectre deal. Uh, I guess we'll watch this little part. I, I couldn't remember what was back in this little area where this Wan Ghoul Knight is. I was... I couldn't remember if there's more than than that there. I think it's just a little dead end corner. But we're in the safe hall. We're working our way towards like the Cavalier area, if you know Lower Guck, which is pretty hard to uh, 
be like an expert on until you've been here a bunch of times. Because, um, you know, it's kind of confusing just to look at the map. If you're just looking at the map on the wiki, I just hit some buttons if it froze, I'm sorry. Should be okay here in a sec. Uh, come on. What's going on? It should settle down. I was looking at... I was checking my, uh... OBS. It's alright. We'll skip forward a little bit. Might as well. Might as well. We're working our way towards the Cavalier. So there's this little room here. There's usually, like, a wizard and a couple knights. I think there's one roamer that comes into this area. That you gotta watch out for. Grabbing my loot. That's how I did it. I was like... I know I'm going to farm lower guck, so I'm going to put my necromancer in the safe hall and then work my way backwards towards my what I wanna what I wanna camp, which was the sage. I felt like that had the best uh risk first reward, like no matter what he drops, I need it. I need the braided cinch cord, I need the ruined cow, so if I can get him to pop, he's gonna drop something that I need. And then with the executioner nearby, if I can get the hood that's something that we need. One mistake that I made, which I don't know if a lot of people know this or not. You guys probably do, and I'm an idiot. But uh, the Dark Reaver, you know, the Cavalier, I thought that was worth way more than it's actually worth. I don't, I'm not sure. You guys let me know in the comments because, like I always say, I'm not an expert. I don't know if you guys like when I say that or not. I'm just a guy that plays the game that has a 60 Necro that puts videos out. Um, oh, I was asking, I was asking, like, an OOC, like, camp check, blah, blah, blah. I was considering doing Assassin Supplier and then, you know, hitting the Sage from there. But instead, I kind of kind of used Cavalier as my base of operations and then went to Sage and then to X and then to Savant. There's nothing back in that corner. What was I saying? Um, oh, the Dark Reaver. It's weird. If you look it up on the wiki... On blue, it's barely worth anything. But on green, it says it's worth like 2500 And of course, I'm looking it up on green. Because I'm on green. But I don't know. How much is a Dark Reaver? Is it even something that people are going to buy? It's Shadow Knight only. It does steal strength. It has like pretty good damage. It's not the best ever, but it has like a decent damage delay. and It looks cool, dude. It's like a black sword. Um... A Shadow Knight with a black sword and, like, stealing strength. And it's proccing and maybe helping tank, like, getting aggro, maybe. Um, I think it, it could be worth that much. I'm just not sure. When I got it, I was all excited. Like, oh, yes, I got a 2,500 plat weapon that I could sell in the tunnel and maybe, you know, get some more stuff for my enchanter or the ranger or something. But then once I, like, started looking deeper into it, I was like, oh, blue. I know I'm not on blue, but when you type in a Dark Reaver on the wiki... Which I know not to trust the wiki 100%, but most of us do look at the wiki, so. When I type it in, it, it brings up blue, and then it says worth, like, barely anything. But then you can switch to green, and it says worth 2,500, but only, like, two people have sold it in the last million years. So that's another, like, negative. Only, like, one or two have been sold. Does that mean it's rare, or does that mean it just never gets sold because no one ever buys it? Maybe I should just give it to my Shadow Knight starting a series character and let him have it. Which I'm sure it won't proc until level 20-something, but, you know. Maybe that's the problem, too. Like, it doesn't proc. Got this wizard here. Luckily, he... My pet gets the aggro. Yeah, mostly I'm just balancing the... the doing the balancing act of the Lich versus the Vexing Mordania. Keeping my pet augmented. Um, you know, making sure we don't get a bunch of ads. Resting the dead. That's all I'm doing. I'm kind of watching my pet kill stuff. And uh, that's usually how I do lower guck. I watch my pet kill stuff. I could be charming. Which would be more fun. But I like to use my specter pet. My specter pet is cool. And why not use it? Um, but if you want to have a more active fun time in lower guck. Maybe try charming. Charm fighting and stuff like that. This is just much easier and lazier for me to do. While I'm just I'm going after stuff. I'm not trying to practice charm charm fighting which i'm not awesome at by any means so if i was amazing at it maybe i'd be doing that but i'm a little bit better at using a pet you know fear kiting that's the kind of necro i am i use my pet i use my dots 
I use fear kiting. I root rot. Lich. All that good stuff. So we've cleared up to, like, the Cavalier. That's where we are. I think the very next thing we kill is going to be in that Cavalier room or a roamer near the Cavalier room. Kind of chilling, getting some mana back and stuff. Let's go ahead a little bit. This is the corner where you will go towards the Cavalier. This guy spawns, like, in this hallway. So keep that in mind. You got one roamer that roams, like, this whole area. It'll go from, like, the room before the safe hall... Back towards the stairs. It'll pass by Cavalier. Pretty sure. It goes from like that room right before the safe hall with the wizard. Remember I said the wizard? We were just sitting in it. I think it walks in there like a little bit. And then it'll walk by the Cavalier. It won't go back there, but it'll walk by it. And then it'll head like towards the stairs up to the savant. So you got one roamer down there. You got to pay attention. But then this guy, he spawns in the hallway right here on the way to the Cavalier. So... If you're camping the Cavalier, which, you know, I think it's adamantite epaulets that you really want if you're camping that. It's like seven wisdom shoulder piece, which I, you'll see. You'll see what I get. I don't know if I should just let you know or just make it a surprise because I'm not sure if we're going to show it. But, um, yeah, right there. Basically where it turns from green to, to brown on the floor. He spawns maybe one crack back from that. Then we got like three more in here. So rest of the dead, Azul Gold Knight. There's another one. That's the PH for the Cavalier, I think. The one I'm resting right now is the PH for the Cavalier. And there's one more around that corner. I don't know if I rested it or not. Or maybe that was the first guy. <laughs> or maybe I don't need to rest them. So, you know, they're green to me. I'm probably doing... I'm probably overkilling this resting the dead thing and stuff, but... So I feel like there's one more, like, right around the corner right there, standing. And it didn't come. It didn't come when I pulled this old gold knight. But another thing cool about Lower Guck is you're going to get a bunch of fine steel. You're going to get a bunch of jewels and pages and all kinds of stuff that's worth a lot of plat. It's not like the best ever. I've had a bunch of y'all in the game sending me tells recently. And one thing that somebody said was thank you so much for telling me about Droga. It's a really good plat farm and I appreciate it they said that. And that's, like, a better place to go than here. But, you know, it's still pretty good if you're farming something in particular, like the uh, SMR or uh, the FBSS or something. Like, you're going to get other good... If you kill all the other frogs on the way, or you're probably going to get a bunch of fine steel and jewels and pages and stuff, too. I swear there was one more in this room, but maybe not. I'm kind of just standing there. Acting like... It's my first time in the Cavalier room. Not first ever, but in this session. You'd think it'd be hitting me already. I guess it's not there. Maybe I already killed it, or maybe it was down, or... So we're about to see. That was the, the Cavalier PH right there. That's the first PH we killed of all the names that we're going after. That one ghoul knight that's laying on its back right there is the PH for the Cavalier. Yeah, there's nothing there. Never mind. So, there's one in the hallway, one in that corner, and then one by the other corner. That's the PH. We'll see later, though. I'm going to do it over and over and over and over. 28-minute um, timer on this zone. We're heading towards the sage now, the sage room. This is the first time I've ever cleared the sage room, so you're going to see quite a mess happen. I had no idea there was a false wall, and a bunch of wizards jumped out at me. <laughs> I rest the first one. That's a roamer. That one's going to go out into the hallway, kind of near Executioner, then come back. You can watch him. Goes that way. You kind of want to kill him first while he's out here. I normally wait until he's, like, pathing back a little bit away from that guy. Like I said, I'm being super careful. So if you are a level 50 necromancer, if you're a level 55 necromancer, if you're any other class in the 50s, maybe. You could probably do this, too, if you're a paladin, if you're whatever. You could probably do this, too, because I'm being very careful in showing you. Kind of had my um, specter guard in the cavalier room, just because I didn't know who was here 
what was going on and was there other people I always assume the worst that people are gonna try to steal my camp and that people are gonna be annoying and that doesn't happen you know 90% of the people that play this game are amazing cool people but there's that 10% and y'all know that 10% and they just don't follow the rules they're not considerate they don't have any empathy either they got main character syndrome so you got to watch out. I always assume you're that person until proven otherwise, which I know is unfortunate. But my name is Cynical. Once again, I'm going to say that a bunch in this video because look at that. An emerald. That's worth like 12 plat, right? I should probably save that. I think that's uh, something I could use, but I usually just sell them. I'm not a perfect necro. I'm not using uh, I need to get some resurrection going on, but. You know, I only play my Necro now pretty much to farm. I do have a freaking Rezzer, and we could... I need to get on that. That's like the next thing I need to do. I like talking my way through things as I make a video. Like, I'm telling you guys as much as I'm telling myself. When I read the wiki and I'm reading about uh, best in slot for Ranger or Enchanter or whatever, I'm also, I'm like also telling that to myself. We got the ghoul sage. The ghoul sage is up. I think I just pulled a bunch of stuff, though. I can't remember. Maybe that happens the second time I go in there. Here comes that ghoul sage. It spawns in the same, like, the almost the same area as the cavalier. Like, if you look at the sage room and you compare it to the cavalier room, it spawns in the back left corner. But you gotta watch out for that false wall. Right there. If you know where the scribe spawns, and you know where the sage spawns, the wall that connects them, there's a false wall. And there's like wizards in there. So you can get into some trouble. You gotta be careful. We got the sage, what did we get? The ruined cow! That's the best drop that he has. It's worth like 500 plat. It's really good for enchanters, necros, mages wizards i don't know if a bard would wear it per se but everything else on that list funny thing happens though i end up going to the tunnel after this and i get a different hat so i don't even need it but i do need the braided cinch cord and uh, we still need to get that and i will sell the ruined cow and make 500 plat most likely but look right here this is where i screw up i thought that was the last thing the uh, mob that my pet is killing is the PH for the Scribe. If you happen to need the Scribe, I think it's for some sort of quest. But now I got three on me, and I am going to start doing some crowd control. We're going to root this wizard. <laughs> and I'm going to tell my pet to back up. Get out of there. Back up, follow, back up, follow, back up, follow, back up, follow. You know how it goes. And now we're just dealing with one wizard, and he's dead already, so that's good. My pet lost about two bubbles. Maybe if I didn't do that, it would have been way more dangerous. I don't know what he came into the fight with, but probably full health. Now he's going to kill the other wizard. One thing to keep in mind, I think if you're a lower level, the scribe, I'm pretty sure, is like an enchanter. So you might get charmed... Think about an enchanter and what it can do, and it could probably do it to you. So be careful when you're fighting that scribe if it pops. And it's really not going to give you much. I think it's just for quests. So if you see the scribe pop, it's more like a, man, that sucks, than a, yay. Alright, I think the wizard's the last thing in there. He's trying to blast me. Most likely, I'm going to resist. I resisted. I decided to root him again because I wasn't sure what else was in there now. Now I'm doubting myself. Now I'm thinking, what if there's two false walls? What if there's something that hasn't popped out yet? We need to get this. We got it under control, but I didn't know that. I'm buying myself a little bit of time. Let the pet heal up a little bit. Get a little bit of mana back. Even though I don't need it, but I didn't know that. It's the last thing standing in there. Let's go, Sinny. Kill it. Alright, it's dead. <laughs> anyway. But here's the false wall. First time I've seen it. Two spawn in here. Two of them. And a lot of the time, it's two wizards. 
Scribe will spawn right here. Sage right there. And then you got the Foss Wall in between them, like I said. But yeah, that's the Sage Room. Now we're heading towards Executioner. Let's clear the Executioner. You got this Roamer. He's going to walk up here and stand, and then he'll walk back to the room. So you want to get him while he's up here. Rested him just in case it's easier to pull. I can shoot a Dooming Darkness while I'm standing right next to him instead of, like, you know, getting hit, face tanking it. I think I have mana, uh, mana shield on or whatever it's called. I don't really want to lose it. <clears throat> it's just a Viz. Those are lower level. It's going to die quickly. But yeah, it's something to keep in mind, that it does roam up the stairs and stand there in the corner, and you want to take care of it first. We're heading towards the Executioner. We're going to knock this room out. There's some, um, all right, we got a Wan Ghoul kind of standing close to the stairs on the left side. We got a Wan Ghoul standing more towards the middle platform on the right side, and then we got two in the back. I mean, the one in the middle, standing on the platform, is the PH for the Executioner, as far as I know. Every time i seen him pop, he popped on that platform. Not 100% sure if he can pop in either, in any other spots here, but I'm pretty sure if you're going to focus on any spot, it should be the one on the platform. Something also to note, there's slaves in the cages around, so, you know... What I did with them was I used them to Vexing Mordania off of instead of... You know, they would attack me if I sit down. They'll attack me sometimes. But if they if I need a Vexing, if I'm liching and there's nothing around and I cleared the whole room and I'm like, wonder, oh man, I got to take my lich off. Then I'll... Uh, one one time I had a big brain idea and I Vexing mordania the uh, slaves. Which I don't know. Do they give you a bad faction? They attack me, so it's whatever at this point. I'm almost about to just quit caring about faction with my necro because all I really do is farm platforms, so I really don't care. I mean, I like to keep my necro good with OT, Agok, um, whatchamacallit, the freaking troll Grob, and Nariak. So I have a place to go in almost every place. If I use my, if I do the hammer, I can do, I can bank in over there. If I'm in the tunnel, I can go to Nariak, which I know you can go to Freeport and blah blah blah. But I killed a million guards in Freeport, and I can never fig figure out the bank trick where you're where you're invisible. I tried it one time, I died. I'm sure I'll figure it out one day. It's probably not as hard. Somebody out there is like, it's super easy. You just look around the corner, use your camera, while you're blah, blah, blah. I can never get it to work, and I die, so I don't really want to die when I only have a, less than a bubble into 60. Maybe one day when I get 60 full, I'll go try it again. But for me, that's what I do. I got Nariac by the tunnel. If I'm over here by Lower Guck, I got Grob. If I'm more over by Hill Giants, I got Agok. And then if I'm in Kunark, I got over there, which is nice. Even though they are they suck and they rip you off. But you can bank. The bank don't rip you off. But the, vin the merchants will rip, rip you off big time. So What I usually do is sell at the windmill and then bank at OT. Or I'll sell in Butcher Block and bank at OT. Or I'll sell in wherever and bank at OT. Like I found, I found all the merchants that... The, you gotta learn all those merchants. The windmill, the windmill merchant in Lake of Illumin that just sells to everybody and doesn't rip you off. The druid ring merchant in Butcher Block that will sell to everybody and won't rip you off. Um, you know, there's a couple of them. And then you got, you can bank an OT. You got you know, everything I said before. And if you're smart, you can bank in freaking Freeport as well. But I'm not smart. You can probably bank wherever you want as long as you're invisible and using the camera trick. That's not good. I'm not good at it. I need to find an easier place to practice it. <laughs> Clearing this room out. Probably didn't need to clear it out, but I just like to. I could probably just pull the platform and kill that and then go about my business, but I'm the type of dude that's clearing everything out. I want people to know. 
whether they're smart or not, which most of y'all are super smart. People that play this game are usually high IQ. Uh, but occasionally, occasionally, you'll get that 10 percenter who, uh, I mean, it doesn't mean they're not smart, but they're pretty selfish. They'll come and see, like, mobs up and think that you're not doing the camp. So if I clear it out and there's nothing to kill, they can't say anything. Everything's down. Everything's dead. I'm killing it as it pops. There's no... You can't... I mean, it is what it is. If, if we if we go to a, a, a dev or a GM or something, they're going to say I can only hold one camp at a time. But we know that we have our own rules in this game, right? The community, we... Us that are not devs and not GMs and follow the community rules that are made up by the community and not the technically guy looking on the paper, reading the, reading them, reading the rules. Know that, hey, if a 60 Necro is holding X, Sav, Sage, and Cavalier, you just let them have it. If they're, if they're knocking it down and clearing it out, you can send them a message like, hey, buddy, like, you know, can I... Can I please have the Savant, or can I please have the Cavalier? You got, like, four camps here, and most likely they'll give it to you. They'll be like, sure. But um, most people won't even ask, because one day they're going to be doing the same thing. You just got to think about that. It's like calling somebody old. One day you're going to be old. You know what I mean? You can't use that as a derogatory comment. You're an old. You're old. Yeah, well, guess what? You're going to be old, too. You're holding down four camps in Lower Guck. Yeah, well, guess what? You're going to be doing that one day, too, most likely. So you should probably let me do it so you can do it, too. Let's not ruin it for everybody. But yeah, if somebody, like, really, really wanted something, and they were doing it for experience, if they just wanted it because they're greedy and they want one of the camps to get to farm, that's one thing. But if you're, like, coming down here and you want to get experience, and you're doing, I don't know why, but I would probably let you have something if you ask nicely. But here's the stairs. You go up the stairs, and you can go get the Savant. The Savant's really not worth camping, but what else am I going to do? I was actively camping this. I wasn't sitting and going AFK for once in my life. So uh, I decided to go ahead and clear the Savant, too. Just trying to see how far I can go, how many how many I can do. Probably should have tried for the hand instead, honestly. Because the hand drops a ring that I could actually use. Now that I'm thinking about it, it probably would have been, I don't know, would it have been hard? I would have had to clear a little bit, some tougher enemies, and went a little bit further. So, I don't know if it would have been possible, because I was barely doing the Savant. Like, right now, I think we have, like, three minutes, four minutes until Cav pops or something. It gets pretty close, especially you clear it out once, and then you go back and clear it out again, and you go back and clear it out again, it gets more and more broke. And, uh... You get closer and closer to your last kill, getting closer to your first kill. So this first clear is probably a little bit... I don't know if it's faster, but like the... I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I mean. I, got, I, don't, I don't know if I would have had time to even do the hand. I could have... I probably should have... Let's see, if I was going to do this again, and I didn't already get all the stuff... Like I already have the runed cow and whatnot. If I was going to do this again, I probably would have did... I'm not sure, because I want Executioner. I don't know. I probably wouldn't have done it any different. But if I was going to do it now and already have all this stuff, I'd probably do Executioner trying for the hood. Eh, it doesn't make sense, because I needed everything at this point, and I, won't, I wouldn't need it now. But I don't know, it's some way to incorporate the hand camp into this as well. As long as there's no person doing Archmagus, maybe. So I feel like Archmagus should also pull the hand. Because Archmagus, unless you're just sitting there going AFK, which is cool. You know, I love I love that. But, um, I like, if I'm going to camp Archmagus, I'm going to also go get the hand. Because it's right across the hallway. Drops a really good ring. It's like a 75 HP. Is it a ring? Is it an earring? It's something like that. It's nice. Anybody can use that. Like, HP is amazing. On any character. <laughs> Alright, so pulling the Savant. I forget where the Savant pops. I think it's very close to the stairs. So you could also do that. Save yourself some grief. You don't have to pull the whole room if you don't want to. If you're... 
a 60 necro like me. You could have done this way different. You could have rested the whole X room and just pulled the platform. You could rest that whole savant room and just pull the savant PH. You could rest the whole cav room and maybe just pull the calves PH. You could probably do this and, and have some downtime in between, still camping four things. But my reasoning, like I've already said, was keep it all clear. I'm also getting fine steel and jewels and pages and all kinds of stuff. Keep it all clear. That way nobody can claim any of it. There's no excuse. Because they'll start pulling this stuff, and then they'll think it's their camp. They'll forget. They won't know. The Savant is a good example. If I just pull the Savant, I'm just pulling the one closest to the stairs. And if I don't keep a strict timer on it, somebody else could come down here, maybe Assassin Supplier, for example, start pulling the Savant room, and then they think it's theirs. Because almost everything's up, and maybe they don't know that there's one down. And now we're going to have, probably not not going to have an argument, because I don't really care, but it could lead to something. Another thing, you can get stuck in this hallway. I got stuck in this hallway a long time ago. I was pulling from Assassin Supplier. I was coming down here, grabbing stuff, and pulling it back to Assassin Supplier. I can't remember if I was doing a duo. I think I was, with either Faceless One or Trey. They were back in Assassin Supplier, like, holding it down. I was going out and pulling other things, like the Savant and... Stuff like that. I got stuck on these stairs right here. In the wall. And I couldn't, for the life of me, I, I ended up dying. On my necro. It wouldn't let me feign death. I was like stuck weird in the wall. And it wouldn't let me do anything. I tried backslash rewind. But you can't do that while you're getting hit. And then I couldn't feign death. Because I was like weirdly in the wall. It just didn't work out. Or, or like something. Like I was stuck in the wall. And then I took a billion hits. And before I realized I was stuck. It was like too late. And maybe like feign death failed. I can't remember the exact situation. I think it's on video. You can go look it up. Most likely. But at first I was like. Oh I'm going to chill in the cavalier room. And pull everything. But then I started moving just from room to room. And. I'm back in the Cavalier room right now because we're about to, uh, but I think, um, you know, you saw me clear it, but here's the ruined cow. I was showing that. Anyway, I start pulling crap. I don't really need to pull. You guys don't need to see that. Here's the first pop for that, I think, unless I pulled something else. But we're getting to where, you know, you saw me clear it out. Now we're just going to go back through and knock everything down. I'm not trying to uh, show you all the downtime. And... Alright, two down in the, in the cav room. So the next pop is going to be the Cavalier PH, most likely, I think. So we'll take a look at this. We'll see what if I got it or not. I'll try to just keep you guys on the PHs from now on. Instead of uh, showing you every single thing I do. I thought I heard something. I think that's what happened here. I thought I heard a roamer, so I was looking around. I was making sure nothing was popping. Just checking stuff out. Sage room. Make sure nobody's down here. I don't think that I think that I don't think that was the main reason I was doing this. I think I was just making sure everything was down. No there was no roamers. Like Sage wasn't popping for some reason. Like just checking stuff out. Right here. Right there. You can get stuck. I think my pet just killed something. It was probably the PH for the Cavalier. So I don't think we're going to see it. Must have been a Wan Ghoul Knight. Yep. So not the Cav. Alright, we are... Where are we? Oh, I think we're in the Sage Room now. Maybe. Got too much crap on me. I did give my, um, one of my bags to my enchanter, and I need to go get it. The one that drops off the assassin supplier. Light burlap sack, is that what it is? Gave it to my enchanter because I had, I gave my enchanter a bunch of stuff. You guys will see. Might as well tell you now. I was trying to tell you a second ago, but uh, I went to the tunnel after this. And I was hanging out, I was, you know, trying to sell my Dark Reaver, the stuff I don't need, the stuff that Trey can't use. And I was going to get a couple things for my Enchanter. It kind of 
snowballed out of control, and I ended up getting a bunch of stuff for my enchanter. It was gonna happen eventually. I'm sorry, but it was gonna happen eventually. I got, like, some wand. It's got, like, charisma on it. It's got alliance. Somebody out there probably knows what it is. I forget what it's called. I got a crude stein. Um, shout out to Danlon. Shout out to Danlon. I should have said this way earlier, but shout out to Danlon. Really cool person in the tunnel. There are so many cool people in the tunnel. Everybody knows knowing my channel and sending me messages and stuff like that. I love going to the tunnel. I'm like a freaking walk in the red carpet or something. I know it sounds cringy, but I get like 10 to 20 tells in the tunnel just based on the channel. Mostly all, all nice people. No, no, not nice people. And that counteracts the mean comments. Like people telling me, oh, this was helped me so much. And I did the, and, you know, thank you so much. And, oh, I love your videos. And thank you so much. That's way better than the comments that I get. People being jerks. But that's the PH for the sage right there. Erdgul wizard. So we'll watch this. Bang, down goes Frazier. And we did not get a sage there. But we already got the ruined cow. We've seen one sage so far. One PH. Or one named mob. Keep checking the uh, the Foss wall. I'm kind of watching the executioner's room. It'll stop start popping here in a second. There it goes. Bang! Cool executioner. And he's got the axe, which... <sighs> the axe is another weird one. If you look it up on the wiki, it doesn't have a price. People don't really sell them to other people, I guess. They just sell them to vendors, because it's worth, like, 186 plat to a vendor. If nobody's willing to pay at least 200 plat, why would you just not sell it to the vendor? So I was in the tunnel with one, and I was trying to sell it for 250 plat. Because otherwise, it's not worth it. Like, why would I even sell it if I can just sell it to a vendor for 186 plat? People got to keep that in mind if they're trying to buy an Executioner's Axe. I can just go to the vendor and sell it for 186 plat, so why would I sell it to you for 200 plat? You gotta give me at least 225, like, make it worth my while. For But there we go, we got an Executioner's Axe now. So, Ruined Cow, X-Axe. That's decent, man. Sell it to the vendor, get 186 plat. Unfortunately, it's lore. It's the only reason I gave one to my pet, because what was I gonna do with it? I guess I could have, like, shouted out to the zone. Anybody want an Executioner Rack? Anybody want a free 186 plat? But I thought it would be more interesting for the video for me to give it to my pet. But that's the Executioner. Let's go to the Savant. Not sure when it ends up... Like, the pH for the, the Savant's going to be hard to capture. I think he's right there. I just said that. Here's the pH for this font. I'm pretty sure. Closest one to the stairs. Which, who cares, right? It's like a crappy breastplate and a crappy mace. It's like a why not type of deal. If you're doing other stuff. If you're doing Assassin Supplier, why not get the Savant? If you're doing what I'm doing, why not get it? Bunch of crap spawns in that room. I kill it. And we're back in the Cavalier room, waiting for the Cavalier to pop. There is one that spawns there, you see? I was right, but I don't know what happened the first couple times. Must have been the first one we killed. Or maybe he walks to the hall or something. Where's the cav pH? How'd we miss it? Gotta be after this, huh? Forget when I get the cavalier. Because I get it twice. Get the Cavalier twice. I get the Sage twice. I get the Executioner twice. I get the Savant once, I think. There's the PH for the Cav again, if you didn't. The way I teach is uh, by repetition. And I know some people are annoyed by that, but there you go. There's the PH for the Cav. So now we're going to head towards uh, Sage. Waiting on this room to pop. There's a wizard. That's where the scribe spawns. The scribe is just for a quest. Doesn't drop anything good. It's just more annoying. More of an annoyance if you're not doing the quest. I think our next pop is the sage, right? 
or the PH. Nope, it's the wizard in there. Guess we'll watch this. Shouldn't take long to kill a wizard. They almost die too fast where I can't get my vexing off to counter my lich. Do you really need lich, bro? I don't know. It's just nice to have on. Wizard down. Lots of wizards in this room, so... By the way. They're easy to kill, but they can also blast you. They can buck you down. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Spectre's looking at something. Somebody's fallen to the ground a couple times. That's not good. And now the train! <laughs> fallen to the ground means they failed. They're feigned death. Which I'm sure all of y'all know. Did we already kill the PH or what? Because that's all I care about. Ooh, somebody just died, it sounded like. Did you hear that? That's not good. Maybe I should have ran up there and helped them. I think there'd be way too much in between me and them. I'd probably make it worse. Checking out that I was sh wasn't sure what order things were. wasn't sure when this room pops compared to when everything else does in the room. Like what order I killed things in. So I was kind of trying to figure it out here. Kept looking in there. It's two pop in there and we've only killed one. I think the last one is going to be in this room and then the sage is before that I'm gonna quit out aggro at least that person didn't die come on man up oh, now I'm down at executioner so I don't know what happened we can um speed it up Erdgul wizard I wanna see the ph for the sage cause I don't know gonna end up getting the belt which i actually need and i don't know if we're past that already or so we're about to see my pet starts fighting something somebody's in that live area i've never i've only been there like once you know with the minotaur like the elder the patriarch whatever it is i've never been over there i really want to go check that out I don't even know if I need anything from over there, but just to check it out, like that camp. Looks pretty cool. Have you ever seen anybody, like, doing that camp? Looks pretty cool, like, fun. Oh, this thing's popping. That means we missed it. So where was it? Now we're way too far back. trying to save us time by not showing everything and here I go doing this all right let's watch it from here in times two because I know I get the sage again I don't want to miss it you already killed a wizard though Showing all my crap. Look at all that stuff. Got that all down here. Huh. Now we're back to looking in there. I don't know, y'all. It's got to be right after this, so here we go. strange so the roamers first there it is okay that's the ph for the uh sage so we can skip to x now sorry i had to i'll we'll skip to the x which i think is after this guy i'll put it back in regular speed for you We're almost done with this one, and then in the next one we have the X-Axe on the Spectre. I hope this video is not super duper long so far. What do we got? 49 minutes. Last video, I don't know what happened, you guys. Some of y'all didn't like it. 
I've been doing this for seven years. It's not a big deal. You know, I am what I am, and I'm not going to change at this point. So, it is what it is. You know, if we lose some people, it was meant to be, and, you know, bye. See ya. I don't want to, and I love all y'all that are cool people, but if, like, a Dingleberry you know, subscribes and then unsubscribes, it is what it is. They weren't meant to be here anyway, so it's like a fake subscriber in the first place. We gotta learn, like, the... You don't have to learn anything. I'm not saying it like that, but... Sometimes I talk like... I don't like the way I talk, but uh, you know what I mean. I'm cynical. Like, look it up. You probably already know what it means. I'm not saying you don't. But... I distrust other people. I think everything's out to get me. I'm a negative person. You know, whatever the definition of that is, it fits me perfectly. That's why I named myself that. And that might not even be the ex perfect, exact definition of cynical. But it fits me. Because that's the way I am. So, for, the quicker you learn that, the better, like, for this channel. Like, whether you want to be here or not. I'm not going to, like, beg anybody to stay after seven years. I'm not going to cry myself to sleep if I lose five subscribers or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. I'm not changing. So, I continuously try to get a little bit better. And I think I'm pretty slow as far as that. Like, I'll learn things and I'll apply them. But it takes me a long time. And... But I'm not going to, like, change my overall personality for anybody. So if you don't like my overall personality, it's not going to change. It's not going to get any different. It's not going to change. It's better, like, now than to wait around. Like, doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not have fake subscribers that are going to just leave one day when they figure out who how I am. Like, I hope you figure out who I am immediately. That way we can either be cool or not. And overall, I think I'm a good person. I help other people out. I think about other people. But I'm not like the most trustful, friendly, social, otherwise. But we did not get it. So let's go to the next. Which looks like the Savant. I don't know if I jumped too far. Let's put it in two times until we figure it out. Pitter-patter of little feet. It's kind of hard to see here. Like, I didn't want to sit in the room, but sitting on the stairs, I couldn't really see. Got my pet down here because I wasn't 100% if I cleared the whole room or not, so I was, like, letting him stay in there until I was sure. I'm pretty... I think... I guess we could kill this guy, huh? Just to make sure he doesn't mess with us later. It's just a roamer from the area between the stairs down and the savant. You know, that room. I always thought there was some named in that room, but there's not. I always wondered, is that where the sage is? Is that where the savant is? Here's the savant! I'm glad I kept this on here. Hold on a second. Pause it. Is he dying already? That's a pretty good screenshot. Um, I'm going to turn the speed back to 1. Alright, here's the Savant. Not super duper worth killing, but why not if you're doing nothing else? If you're just AFK? And we get the enameled black chest plate. 25 AC. Be cool to give to, like, your little baby Shadow Knight. There's some things down here you could definitely give to your baby Shadow Knight. Or baby warrior. Baby warrior might be even better. Depends if you get the Dark Reaver or not. Like, the Executioner's Axe would go to a Warrior. The Dark Reaver would go to a Shadow Knight. You got the Chest Plate you could give. You got the X Hood you could give. Etc. But yeah, that's that. Let's move on to the Cav. We're going to clear this room out, but you don't need to see all that. Because nothing interesting happens, I don't think. That room is a little bit dicey it's probably the second most dicey to the sage room because they're casters we're back in the executioner room let's speed it up till they pop so we still got another video to watch and i don't want to make this super duper long i'm trying to get this one done so you can watch the specter with the executioner's x for a little bit and we still have more stuff to see drop. We saw the chest plate drop. We saw the rune cow drop. We saw the executioner's axe drop. I want y'all to see 
everything that drops just to I don't know just to show it waiting on the calf to pop 28 minute timer I don't know if we dealt with the hallway one yet Well, what else did I give my enchanter? I got the wand, I got the crude stein, I got a lizard cap that's, like, better than the rune cow, supposedly, for enchanters, which I agree. Um, I got, like, a face, I got, like, a neck, um, I got a robe, robe of the Ishva, I think it is. It's, like, a blue robe, it's pretty cool. I like the looks of the gossamer robe better, I like the all-white robe, but the stats on the Ishva was better for, for, my, for charming and everything else. And then, uh, what else? I got a bunch of stuff. Not, not like, all of the slots, and not, like, amazing, but pretty good stuff that I noticed a difference when... We did the, uh, graveyard. If you're still watching and listening, you get a little sneak peek of the next video next Wednesday, every single Wednesday. Next Wednesday, I'm gonna show y'all the first time we camped the graveyard. And I have all my new equipment on, and it makes a huge difference, and I was crushing it, and... You know, some interesting things happen. We tried to do a castle entrance. And there was people training and training. And, like, I got lost. I don't know if I showed it on video, but I got lost with my necro going between behind false walls into the jail area and stuff. And then, um, you know, we were in the graveyard, and it was pretty cool. It was, like, real action-packed with a pretty good group. So, should be interesting for y'all the next video. Graveyard. Enchanter. Level 28. Next up, Clarity. That might be where I stopped the video. And the reason I have to do that is because... If I don't... Oh, you know what happens? This is crappy. I, I, I paused the video, or I stopped the video because I'm worried of, for it to corrupt. And right when that happens... Hold on a second. Let me change this. Right when that happens... Hold on a sec. All right, here it is. I got the other video. But right after that, the Ghoul Cavalier pops. <laughs> and this might take a second to adjust. You know, it's going to be laggy for a second. But here's the Cavalier again. Or no, for the first time. Cavalier for the first time. <laughs> and this video is an hour and something long, so I'm really going to have to skip through and, and try to speed it up. So we'll watch this. We'll see what he drops. And then we'll move to the Sage. We'll two times speed it and stuff. I want to get y'all to the Executioner X Spectre. And all the cool drops as, as soon as I can. I'm trying to maybe finish this in the next 10 to 15 minutes. There you go. That might be his better drop. That's worth 200 plant. It's good for war. Uh, it's good for like Cleric, Paladin. Cleric and Paladin is like a must, right? Pretty good. Could, pretty good. 200 plant. But anyway, let's um, jump ahead. There's the first kill. So right after this is the uh, sage. So I'll speed it up so we can get there. Bear with me. I'm trying to give you all the good stuff. The Oreo filling. It's an Urdgul wizard, so we can skip past that. It's the PH for the sage. We do not get the sage. Maybe the scribe pops, though, so let's keep it going. I haven't showed the scribe yet. He might pop right here. Just to have him on video. Got every other uh, named on video now. So let's get the scribe on video too. We've seen the savant. We've seen the cavalier. We've seen the executioner. We've seen the sage. So let's see the scribe too. Is that it? Yep, there he is. Alright, so hold on. Let's uh, put it in one times. Give him his, uh, shine. There he is, Ghoul Scribe. He's trying to summon his pet. Too bad. So sad. I think he's trying to charm. Right there. Maybe. There's a Ghoul Scribe down. What's... And when I... The first time he popped, I didn't know what he was. And I was hoping he dropped something cool. But I looked him up, and yeah, I think he's just a quest for something. But let's uh, get to the Executioner. Here we go. Put it in two times until he uh, pops or, or whatever. 
or the pH is shown. Destroying copper, destroying silver, trying to move my stuff around in my bag so I'm not as heavy. So I end up filling up every single slot I have. And then I go sell in a grob. I'm bound right outside a grob, so it wasn't too bad. I got journeyman boots. I got dead man floating. There's the first one. He's got a piece of fine steel. I started to have to decide between items. I had so much stuff. I was like getting rid of pages and keeping fine steel and like trying to find the jewels that were worth the least and the jewelry that was worth the least and stuff. And it's hard to, hard to know. Like I started to make a list in Droga because I love to farm Droga. So I started making a list what sells for what and like which things to throw out and which things to keep. I have a lit. I have like a notebook with a literal manual list that I wrote out multiple times for Droga. You want to keep the green goblin skin, you want to keep the the salts, and then you want to keep the fine steel, but there's all these other things, all these jewels and pages and jewelry that you got to know which is worth what. Cuz it'll surprise you sometimes and one piece of one gem will be worth like 12 plat while another one's only worth 12 gold or I think the uh, pH is after this. All right, what do we got? Is it a pH or is it the executioner? And I actually farm this for longer, camp it for longer, because I get a second executioner's axe and because I give it to my pet. Look at that, there's the second axe. So we'll put it back in one times. So I never get the freaking hood. It's so annoying because I really wanted it. Trey ends up getting some other stuff, though. Somehow. So he... Don't think that I'm just giving myself... I'm only giving myself a bunch of good stuff. I'm not saying, like, I... I'm not saying I gave him stuff, either. But he does... He did get some stuff. Some, somehow. Fell out of the sky into his pockets. Alright, so Executioner down. Now I'm like, uh, is the Executioner Axe lore? Can I pick that up? It'd be nice, because then I could have two axes worth 186 plat, but fortunately the Executioner Axe is lore. So what else was I going to do with it? I give it to my pet. My pet starts procking it. You can see it, because it goes off. It's got, like this red effect. Alright, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do here? got this axe i'll give it to you bang my pet has it of course it doesn't show up but he's using it you can tell i wasn't sure until he started procking it which is cool but let's um put it in two times because maybe he'll proc it and that's the main thing i want to show i think the only thing we're looking for now a dark reaver and a braided cinch cord or the last two things I get. So we'll, there he goes, procking it. Look, right away. <clears throat> Pretty cool, right? Let's put it one time so you can see like exactly how he looks. <laughs> with the axe on. Like his damage output. Alright, get the Wangul Knight. I think he's still hasted at the moment because he just procked that. Not sure how long that lasts. Isn't it a haste effect? Look at him. Bang, 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 bang. Well, he didn't proc it that time, but I think he still had the effect. Alright, two times. We really gotta get going. Just wanna show you this axe a couple times. I'm uh, doing the thing I said I was doing. Look at my HP. Bang. Vexing. We're heading up to the Savant. Pitter-patter of little feet. Sitting on the bed. Let's go. Come on.
I don't think I get the Savant again. Just hoping I'll proc that axe. That's eh, alright. We don't have to. You guys already saw it. Definitely crushes. There he goes. I think he, now he got shot. Whatever. So we're back in the cav room. A Zol Ghoul Knight. Come on, proc it. I think he's rooted. This was a situation. I was like, oh no. He dies to the dot, though. He died to vexing. I guess that's another thing that could happen. Your pet could get rooted, and a good reason to have dooming darkness. Since you, he was already dotted with vexing, he just died on his way out. I think Cav is the next pop. Either that or this right here. It's like a Zul. A Zul. Someone else running around here. Uh, that was always my fear. I think it's an actual person. I think they actually... I think they say something to me. Come on. So that was the PH. Now the Sage. There's the Viz. There he procced it. He's so far away, but... He's procking it. Got that red. He don't always have that. I could see it above me. Just getting so much crap, I can't even hold it now. Alright, so we got the Zul. The Zul. That's nothing. So let's move to X. I don't even think X pops again. So, we can skip by X now, too. Here's X. We get a PH. I think I skipped the Savant. I got tired of it. So, I skipped the Savant, and I went back to Cavalier. So, here's Cavalier. There he's procking the axe. Procked it again, look. Would you look at it? Procked it again. Does that actually do anything? It seems like it was, but you let me know. Have you ever given an Executioner Axe to your Spectre? That's why you come here to see that. So you don't have to. I'm walking. I'm so slow. I'm just going to do this calf. I think that's it. I don't know. One more sage. So cat, one more cat, one more calf and one more sage. And then we're done. You got to see the specter with the executioner's axe. Two more things to watch. And that's the dark reaver and the braided cinch cord. I don't know, do they have a picture on the wiki of the Cavalier with the Dark Reaver? Because I could give them one. We'll just leave it like it is. I'll slow it down when we get to the Cav. He's procking. And there you go, there's the Dark Reaver. You can even pause it. See that? Black sword, a ghoul cavalier, black sword. Pretty cool. Pet procking. I wonder if the calf procs. We'll have to see. He's swinging pretty slow. He might have procked right there. He did something. He did a little backflip. I think he's a paladin, though, so he might have some spells. So you can't... And then I walk away like a dummy. Should have be in there. I'm, I was worried. That, I was worried that he's gonna like die in the wall, and I wasn't gonna be able to get the Dark Reaver. This is when I thought the Dark Reaver was worth a bunch of money, and people would want it. I'm most likely gonna give it to my Shadow Knight, though. I'm pretty sure. Bang a Dark Reaver. 2042 Steel Strength. It's 
probably not the best damage burst delay, but it's got that proc on it, which is probably good for taunting aggro. Let's skip ahead. I think the sage is all we need. And I'm watching him for him right now. So this is it. Thank you for watching. If you're listening right now, put Where's Waldo in the comments, and I'll know that you watched to this point. Where's Waldo? Stupid, right? But hey, it's the secret word for the video. And I'll know you watched all the way through, which is an accomplishment. I watch long videos all the time, though, so I don't really understand. But maybe I, maybe people just don't want to watch me for a long time. I don't know. He's procking it. Going to town, baby. I heard that an enemy's max damage is like two times their level. Is that true? Or like, if you want to know how much something's going to hit for... There it is! The Braided Cinch Cord! And that's a good place to stop, because there's nothing interesting after that, I don't think. That's everything. So in total, we got the Enameled Black chest plate from the Sa er, Savant, which I saw one time. We got the Adamantite Epaulets and a Dark Reaver from the Cavalier, which I saw twice. Um, the Sage, we got the Ruined Cow and the Braided Cinch Cord, which I saw twice. And then the Executioner, we got two Executioner Axes, which I saw twice. Gave one to my pet. Pet was procking it. It was pretty fun. The other one I'm probably just going to sell to a vendor because I don't have a warrior. I think it's warrior only. But the Dark Reaver, I might give to my Shadow Knight. The, the Breastplate, I'll probably give to my Shadow Knight. Um, and then what else? The Ruined Cow, I don't need anymore. I'm probably just going to sell it for 500 Palat. I got a different cap that my gnome is wearing, my enchanter. The cinch cord I will use, because I think it's a good good one for my waist, for my enchanter. And what else? Was there anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Sell the, I already sold the adamantite epaulets. Um, I sold some other stuff, but I don't think it was from down here. So, Anyway, that's the video. That's me camping um, basically sage but also doing Executioner and Cavalier and Savant while I, while I was at it. And um, telling you a, a couple things about my Enchanter and the new equipment the Enchanter got and whatnot. But yeah, look up Cynical if you don't understand. I'm sure you do, though. So that's what I was going for. I know it's not exactly the same. I, when, I made the, when I made the name Cynical, I think I was 14 years old. And I just stuck with it. It's my internet name. And, it, and, it, and I thought, you know, Cynical, Cynical... I'm from Cincinnati, and it all just, like, made sense to me back then, at least. It still does to me this, to this day, but maybe it doesn't to you. But what I'm going for is cynical. And I say it cynical, but it's really cynical. So, I don't know. Maybe that'll give you a better idea of what, what I'm like and my personality. And you can decide now. And it doesn't bother me either way, whatever happens. Because I've been doing this for seven years, and I'm not going to change, so... It is what it is at this point, and I hope you stick around, and I really appreciate all the nice comments recently. Shout out to Dan Lawn. He gave me like a couple pieces of gear while I was in the tunnel and teleported me and gave me a bunch of advice for my enchanter, so super appreciate Dan Lawn. And then all the other people in the tunnel who were sending me tells. I can't remember every single person's name, but there was like a necro that said, you know, about the Droga thing. I think his name was like Z... Z I can't remember. It was like with the X... So, I won't even try. But, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. Next Wednesday, you're going to see my Enchanter with Trey the Ranger. All, both of us with new gear. In the graveyard. Starting at the castle entrance. Moving to the graveyard. Trains happening alongside. Um, learning the graveyard. Being there for the first time in my life. So, should be pretty interesting. I'll see you there. Peace out.